Our top story now at four, a bear has been euthanized after attacking a man jogging in Cottonwood Canyon. An ABC4 News exclusive, that jogger is recounting the details with our own Jonathan May. Jonathan's live in the canyon at uh, the North Folk Trailhead where he was attacked. Jonathan, how's he doing now? Well, Brian, he's doing fine. It's not every day someone gets bitten by a bear, but a day after his encounter on this trail, Danny Rizzo says he's feeling fine. He even ran down back from the trail and drove himself to the hospital after the face-off. I probably got super lucky. Rizzo showed me the puncture wound and the bruises on his arm. He says it happened after a bear chased him down. What were you feeling there? I, I don't know. I mean, it's just adrenaline and happening so fast. Like... I was just thinking rip my arm away and try to kick it or something. Um, it's hard to recount what I was thinking in the exact moment. Before the attack on the trail, Rizzo says he got big, hoping to scare the bear. It wasn't really backing off and started to come closer, and so it's easy to say that you're going to stand your ground, but with the bear coming at me, it was pretty scary. Backing away, he tripped. The bear attacked. It got my arm in its mouth, um, and then from my back, I kicked it with the bottom of my shoe in the head, uh, and it kind of shook its head and ran off, and that was, that was pretty much it. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources euthanized the bear, the second to be put down this week. Just by our policy, if it has attacked a human, we won't relocate it. We don't want a, a bear to have aggressive behavior and then put it somewhere else where it could encounter other hikers. I'm really sorry to hear the bear got, got euthanized. Uh, obviously, nobody wants that to happen. Um, but I, I guess that's, that's just the policy if there's an aggressive bear. DWR says if you ever have a face-off with a black bear, be ready to stand your ground, be big, do not retreat, be prepared to use bear spray, and even fight back if necessary. Reporting live in Big Conway Canyon, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.